Hi everybody, once again it's Gordon Overkill here and I hope that I'm not the only one who's ready for new great advent adventures. Uh, if you remember last episode we were able to finally kill the black druid Ketrax, although we didn't uh, act too clever uh, <laughs> in this fight but we managed to survive, Ketrax is dead. We finished the quest and uh, as I told you in this episode we are going to uh, enter the Caverns of Chaos which is the, the dungeon where the main quest begins. So uh, before we start the travel let's see if we have got enough food. No we have not. So it's good that we are in Terinio so we can just go to the food shop and buy some rations. We don't want to get any hunger problems on the way. Oh, you see, we just got hungry in this very moment. So, what do we have here? Hearthling bread. Let's buy that. Large ration 26. Raw meat, don't need it. Large ration 34. That's a better large ration. 34 seems to be uh, a blessed one. Ah, farmer, get out of the way. So, blessed large ration. We take that. Dwarven sausage. Yeah, take the two. Loaf of bread. Maybe one more. We find something nice. Another blessed last r a large ration. That should be enough for the way. So we pay. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a lot for food. <laughs> but well, anyway. <laughs> At least we're not uh, in danger of starving. So we eat one of the large rations and continue. At one point we will come back to the starting area here. That's because we haven't bought some of the very good items in the shop. But we don't have enough uh, gold to buy them at the moment. We've got 750 uh, 57 coins left. That's not enough. Uh, we are attacked by a group of lost souls and we don't get away. Well, what's that? That's a white, which is not the, not the weakest undead enemy. Let's see if we can kill him. We miss him. Hit him and severely damage him. Oh, there are the next strong enemies already coming. Kill him. Yeah, he's destroyed. Another white. Hit him and moderately damage him. Uh, he's still alive. Maybe we could retreat to a better position where we don't have to fight them all at once. So, that looks a little better at least. At first we're going to kill that ghoul because he could paralyze us. Um, now, so we can fight the white with just two zombies attacking us at the same time but not the other very tough uh, undead. So he's destroyed, very good. Directly kill the ghoul. Who's next? The Wraith is also quite strong. Hit him. Kill the ghoul. So. Very well. What do we have here? Another iron ration. And we pick up our raw meat. Would, uh, would maybe um, also decay if we don't acid eat it directly. So we directly do so pick up our rocks and then we continue on our way. We will not go directly to the Caverns of Chaos. Oh, we are uh, attacked again. This time it's frogs, but frogs are not so dangerous. I just uh, fight them in order to get some more training with a, with a sling. You remember we still got this cursed sling equipped and uh, we want to be at least able to use it. How much do we have at the moment? We've got it at level 2 now but not uh, too long of a way until we reach slings level 3. That leather apron, hmm, why not? But we're roving barbarians, what's that? Are we cursed maybe or uh, Foes all the way, come on. Don't let the barbarians surround us, but they shoot lots of arrows at us. Huh? If you want to flee, don't let you flee.
He really wants to flee, but ah, now he's out of range. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we have to kill the barbarian leaders first, if possible, because they are by far the strongest of them. Critically damaged. Oh, he hit us quite hard, but uh, now he's gone, and the rest is easy. Get our rocks back. Arrows, arrows. We got a bow. We also got the arrows, but we cannot use them because we were stupid and equipped those cursed, this cursed sling. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you, we're going to visit another place on our way to the uh, chaos monks. Get away! Oh, and <laughs> we're not able to flee. Uh, <laughs> on the way to the Caverns of Chaos, we're going to visit another place first. Uh, those Chaos Monks are very quick, so I... Oh, there are also quite many, as we see. Die. Yeah. I'm glad we've been able to kill first of them quite quickly, so they were not able to surround us with too many of their monk brothers. Okay, still dangerous. Why didn't... Uh, is he not injured yet? Maybe kill another one first. Yeah, good. Now we're bleeding, 62 HP. They are not as weak as they look. Sandals. This rock. We found a, a tome. Oh no, we forgot our other spell book in uh, the Outlaw Settlement, but I don't want to go back now just to, to get it. We'll get it later. This here, the, the rather boring cave entrance, is the other place where we're going to go, go because Stingray, this uh, very helpful uh, Adam player from the discussion board, he uh, told me we should maybe go here first because we might find something very useful at this dungeon level. We will see. Nothing found yet. The door is stuck. Getting hungry again. First we eat that barbarian, which is uh, maybe uh, not too civilized, but hey, we are a, a, a savage lizard, so I guess it's okay. No, we don't find what we hope to find, which uh, would have been herbs, but uh, anyway, at least we... Uh, kill some more foes and we explore this level. We will be back and explore the second level of this dungeon later. Hungry again. But uh, the second level is quite dangerous. Don't want to do it yet. We'll do it the next time we pass here. Oh, okay, we activate a trap once more. The door falls in our di uh, direction. We're not nimble enough. Oh, okay. We just lost our uh, our uh, backup scimitar from uh, from uh, from the trap. I was afraid we lost our main weapon, but here it is: our wonderful blessed Mithril scimitar. Doppelganger, die! And we got a new level. That's very nice. Of course, we want to increase this time our athletic skill. We put one spell increase on. On herbalism, because we're soon gonna pick some herbs. And we put one more on on literacy to prepare for our spells that we are going to learn later. Doppelganger corpse. Uh, we're not able to eat a doppelganger corpse because it just looks like ourselves and uh, we're not that much of a of a horrible beast that we would eat ourselves. Is that a large cobalt? And lots of skeletons right behind them. Is it uh, just a room full of skeletons or is there maybe a necromancer? 
several items are laying here. What's that? A quarter stuff, ordinary, and a dwarven sausage. The sausages may be useful. We are already strained, so I don't want to carry much more useless stuff, because strained is uh, everything that we need for effective training of our strength stat. Or chief team, but he's neutral. So. Nothing more to find here. Oh, a wear rat. We're gonna slay it before it could multiply. Just like the jackal wear that we met uh, some time ago, the wear rat is also able to summon additional uh, allies. Oh, chieftain should die. Very good. Here we have a shadow who can do a lot of damage, but we do more damage. So now we're going to leave this dungeon again and continue our way to the caverns of chaos. If they let us through, it's uh, that is rock melon. Oh god, we've got endless amounts of food now and endless amounts of arrows that we cannot use, which is still uh, somehow annoying. Hungry again. I eat the the heavy rations at first, so I, I started with the large rations. Afterwards, now I'm going to eat the iron rations, who are uh, which are 100 stones each. And uh, just when they are emptied, I will start to eat the lighter food. So we're going to use the road, which makes us a little quicker. Though there would have been the risk to be ambushed on the road, an increased ris risk. But nothing happens. And here, right uh, to the to the northwest, there is a foreboding tunnel. And that's exactly what we were looking for. The first level of the caverns of chaos. We're gonna spend big times of the of the whole game in this dungeon. And I'm really looking forward to see what the first levels will bring us. You see, uh, there is no more door to be seen uh, on this level, but uh, I'm quite sure that it's a little bigger. So we have to search the surroundings for a secret door. Wherever this might be. Here it is. We found it. Leather apron. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I don't think we will need those armors, so uh, these will be the, the first things I will drop when I get into uh, into uh, problems with uh, carrying capacity. Hmm? Are you hostile? No? You? Also not. Very nice. Glad to meet you. Now he takes. And gives us another short bow. Uh, the random number, number generator is making jokes on us. Because we were so stupid, we deserve it. Okay, we activated another trap. We are used to that by now. <laughs> this time it was a fire trap again, but uh, we were lucky that nothing got damaged, nothing important. A neutral frog. That's a large gnoll. Large gnolls are quite strong. He directly hits us, but I think we are stronger. We should not be afraid of him. The frog attacks. We kill it. What's with that gnoll? He stopped attacking. Okay, that's nice. But now, decide if you want to fight or not, my friend. Gnollish dog face. So, hmm, guess we need to find yet another secret door. Because we still didn't find the staircase. And again, there's no door to be seen. On the way, I eat as many of those corpses as possible in order to uh, save uh, the the rest of our food. Okay, we found the secret door. Very nice. It's also locked. This time without a trap, which is almost surprising. Here we've got a cave fisher, which is also kind of a spider. They just don't drop corpses. I want a spider corpse. It's really time to get poison resistance. Remember, the druid dungeons we were got poisoned more than once. Hmm. 
Hm, Cat. I could just kill him, but actually it could make the game a little harder if we kill too many of those cats. So if I can avoid it, I will try to avoid it. The door is locked. The trap explodes, but uh, too bad it didn't kill the cat. Here is the second staircase, as you can see. And that's a special feature that sometimes appeared on these uh, early levels. That uh, we've got uh, to choose one of two uh, different paths to descend further. We start with this one, which brings us to dungeon level 2. Cat is still behind us. If we get into a dangerous situation, we will just kill the cat. But uh, maybe we'll find a way to uh, to avoid it. What was that message? Uh, a shifting breeze in this room. I actually don't know what that means. So no, we've got here a large cobalt. It's going to die some gold on the ground. Always wondering who is the guy who walks through this dungeon levels and just puts the valuable item somewhere on the ground. And why does he do so? Okay. Hmm. Cat between... Ah, die! Don't want to uh, take a walk with that cat. Her seed uh, would be useful if we had the gardening skill, but we don't have it, so we don't need this herb seed. locked a uh, stone block trap uh, ooh, that was the, the the dangerous trap but uh, we barely evaded it by jumping backwards very good we're glad that we've got the the alertness skill Again, getting hungry, but oh, we've got so much food with us, we won't have uh, food problems for a long time. And maybe when we run out of this food, we have already, we will already have uh, reached the next big food source, which will solve this problem for the rest of the game, if we're lucky. As you can see, uh, the first levels of this dungeon are actually quite easy. I think they are easier than the. The the druid dungeon levels, the uh, the bottom druid dungeon levels, or other places that we already visited. So we can, even though I am the player uh, <laughs> who's uh, um, always good for a stupid mistake, I think we can play a little faster in this region. But I will try to uh, concentrate on the on the messages that the game gives us to see if there is any special feature that could maybe be dangerous for us. What do we have here? A medium shield. Take that with us. Dagger, potion. Don't need the bones, don't need the cobalt corpses. Who's that? Got here a rattling thief and a pixie. If the pixie would be so kind to drop us a corpse, I would not complain. What do we have? A herb seed, wonderful. Damn, a pixie corpse would have been nice. Because if you eat a pixie corpse, you've got a chance to get a feature that can be both very helpful and very annoying. But since we have already prepared for this situation, for us it would be helpful. But, swordsman corpse, wolf corpse, we eat the wolf and the swordsman. I will tell you what exactly that is if we get this feature installed. Don't want to destroy the tension. Leather girdle. 
think we are not yet wearing a girdle. So we uh, reached level 3. I think what we're going to do in this episode is uh, finish exploring level 3 and then also explore the other alternative level 2. That should be enough. If we succeed with that, we will have uh, made a good uh, start in the Caverns of Chaos. Here we can get down to level 4. We're not going to do this yet. Because we have no need to hurry. We are quite well equipped. We've got uh, enough food with us. Oh, as you can see, we have already improved our strength to level 17. That's very nice. Dexterity is already at 10 at the moment. We started with 8, so uh, our training is working. Maybe that's because we improved our athletic skill. A compact tome. This might be another spell for us to learn in the future. Don't take the rope with us. I think you can train your strength skill up to a limit of 18 by carrying heavy stuff around. So we're gonna keep the strength status until we improve our strength by one more point door is locked but I'm not going to kick it because uh, we can go the, the long way around and I think that's the same room. I'm not afraid of the damage that the a trap might do but uh, I'm afraid to maybe lose some valuable items. A milky pool but uh, as we uh, already said earlier we're not going to drink from this uh, pools at least not at the moment. So this level is explored. Let's get up to the alternative second level and see what we can get here. Was there a, a, a message when we entered the level? Wait. Um, climb upwards. No, nothing. Because it happens quite often that you find a lesser vault on this level, but uh, as it seems not in this game. Here, if we uh, took those stairs, we would get up to the first level which we have already ex uh, explored. So now we're going to go back down. This door is locked. And see what else we can find at this level. Rabbit dog corpse. Not going to eat that. There was a message, what was it? A certain tension. Aha! I see. So we've got a tension room on this level and we. We found a pit trap, uh, we saw it, and we, uh, instead of looking at it, we walked back and now we fell into the pit. That was totally unnecessary. Large bed is neutral. Getting hungry again. Looking forward to see this tension room, which kind of enemy might be facing us from this. Uh-huh. Uh, an arrow barely misses us. That means we just stepped on an arrow trap. We could use this trap and activate it on purpose so we could uh, take all those arrows if we had none, but we have more than enough arrows without even being able to use them. So we're just going to ignore it. And continue to look for this tension room. So okay, here is a secret door. Getting hungry again. Maybe uh, we should directly eat another ration. Okay, food is uh, <laughs> actually no problem. So this must be the way to the tension room. Can you feel the tension grow? No. Hmm. Maybe a secret door? Yeah. Indeed. The door is locked, so we're going to kick it because we want to find this tension room. And it's full of uh, totally harmless cobalts. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess this room doesn't really deserve the name tension room. It's uh, rather unspectacular. 
so we're gonna quickly kill all of them and see if they at least drop something useful a potion another short bow some rocks a short bow more rocks arrows a wedding ring which is uh, maybe a little useful in uh, very special situations but very likely not a scroll two iron rations and some gold well so we have uh, successfully explored the first levels of the caverns of chaos and I think that's a good result for this episode so we will just uh, go to the downstairs of the third level because we want to see what we uh, are going to do next time pass to the next level this room looks like a dungeon of an arena the ground is covered with sand you smell uh, the fragrance of sweat and blood there is uh, a stair leading upwards here so this is actually a special level but uh, what this level is about we're going to see in the next episode bye guys I'm glad you uh, joined us again and uh, I hope we see you again for the next episode